Number four on the worst transforms of 2018 are the DX9 Dinobots Legend Scale. I got all five, but these are the ones I had the easiest access to, so these are the ones I'm displaying. But what kills these toys are tolerances. Like, you have to have a tool to transform them. And it's, there are several times I feel like I come dangerously close to breaking them just because they're, the screws are too tight or they're overly tolerant. So, you rather them be tight than loose. These are too tight. And normally, when they're loose, you will worry about them falling apart. These are so tight, you worry about breaking them when you manipulate them. And other than that, they're really good figures. It's just the tolerance on all of them. It's, it plagues the whole line, and it plagues all of them in multiple places. So each Dinobot has like three or four places where it worries me. And so that's what gets these toys on the list because they're actually good toys, really great legend scale, really great size, really fun transformation. But the tolerance has put this at number four or worst Transformers of 2018, the DX9 Dinobots. You know how they say, there's a thin line between love and hate. There's also a thin line between being mediocre and being great. And the, and what separates medio, mediocrity and greatness sometimes is one minor and or major thing, but just one thing. And in this case, in my number three most worst toy 2018 is how the feet connect to the roof in bot mode. It's trans bots flip out of their wild rider uses translucent pieces on the roof and connects them via normal plastic pieces. And it makes for a very sharp or very tight connection. And when you go to unplug it, it tends to break. It broke on me. I saw it broke on Bobby Skullface. I saw it break on three or four more other reviewers. And I saw like at least five or six pictures on YouTube where they were breaking on different people. And for a figure that's arguably perfect, this is the probably the second figure this year that made me rethink what Masterpiece Transformers can be as far as presentation and display wise. For a figure that's that great, you can't have pieces for breaking over, breaking on people, breaking on a large group of people doing transformation. I even went to and followed the instructions for the design of this um, product, 598 Robots, and his instructions weren't that good on how to get the pieces disconnected. And I, you, I followed his instructions and that's how I broke the toy. And so if the designer couldn't give a good demo of how to transform the toy without breaking it, one of the most known YouTube toy reviewers couldn't do it. And just a couple of them actually, and just random people all over the internet. That's a problem with your design. This figure is arguably, this figure is great. Could have been perfect if they would have fixed that one minor thing. And so because of that one thing, how the legs connect to the roof and alt mode, this makes my number three worst Transformer 2018 list. It's Transbots flip out or the wire rod. Number two on my worst purchases of 2019 is DX9's Dutch. Well, I'm going to try to show you guys why it's number two. Look, that's inexcusable. DX9 should refund everybody their money back or give them an upgrade for free for those who purchase this toy. The toy barely stands. That part there is failing for everybody. And I'm afraid to do the nail polish trick or the floor polish trick because I'm afraid it'll break the ball joint. The toy would be great if it wasn't for that. It should never left the factory with that problem. That's piss poor cusp quality control on the X9 part. It's such a horrible piece. It is the worst factory. It's the worst design piece from a standpoint of materials. They should have used better materials for this. And it's just an excuse, but we've come too far from Transformers fans to have, and this was a problem out of the box. We've come too far as Transformers fans to have toys coming out of the box not working. And it definitely is a horrible piece. It's almost as bad as Trailbreaker, which was my number one this last year. But because it's Legend Scale, I give it more of a pass. But it's still a horrible piece. I wouldn't buy, I would just wait for Magic Square. I wouldn't even buy DX by Dutch. My recommendation is don't buy it because I don't know if they fix it in run two or run three. I would just buy the Magic Square version when it comes out. My number two worst toy of 2019 is DX9's Dutch. And my worst Transformer of 2018 is its Transbots Toro of their Cliff Jumper. Look, the difference between this toy and all the other toys on this list is that it's actually built well. I don't have any problems with how well it's built, but I do have a major problem with the backpack. And this is just poor design. This should have never got off the board. 
as a design because this is inexcusable for Transformers fans. And I know it's the crowd to say you don't display your toys from the back, you don't display them from the side. But I disagree. That's why I make toys wing fillers. They're charging ten dollars for their wing figures. So that's why as a fan we want wing fillers for make toys transformers. That's why most reviewers show a 360 shot of the toy. We've gotten so much better at Transformers, both official and third party, that the engineering is so good now that it can be it can look good at all angles. And again, this toy is built well. It's just a piss poor design. And using a fake window is like a get out of jail free card. And when you do that, if you notice like um, Takara Sunstreak or Bad Cube Sun Surge, I'm not, I don't have a problem with four windows. It's just four windows should lead to more interesting engineering to hide certain pieces. And this is the complete opposite. Four windows are used right here to introduce or include or encourage lazy engineering. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of the right word I wanted to say. Like, this is just lazy engineering, and you use the full window as a get-out-of-jail-free card for this. This is a toy that you would think came out in 2015, not a toy that came out in 2018. Even though it's built well, it is the worst display in toy in my collection. From I mean, it's just it's so much less than what it should be because of horrible design. So my worst toy for 2018 is S Transbox Toro. And here they are, my worst toys of 2018. If you notice, it's basically the same company. It's just DX9 and X Transbots. And DX9 is normally one of my favorite companies, but their legend scale has been subpar. And X Transbots, they've been very ambitious, ambitious in producing toys, excuse me. And they've produced a lot of great Transformers. It's just these missed the mark for different reasons. And all of these have, minus the Toro have, build problems. If they come out of the factory better, none of these toys make that list. The only toy that makes this list from the factory is this Transbots Toro because of the design. But we've gotten so much better from Transformers for both official and third party. This list is getting smaller and smaller. I couldn't even come up with five. I only came up with four. But that shows that we're headed in a better direction as Transformers fans. But these are all my worst toys of 2018.